Good morning, I'm John Coletto. Welcome to Auto Show TV. First up, interesting news from the folks who keep track of these kinds of things. For the first time, Americans are buying and leasing more SUVs and crossovers than sedans. Who would have thought that 10 or 15 years ago? Now most car makers have several SUV and crossover models to choose from. To find out more, we've come here to Majestic Honda in Lincoln. We're with Casey Martin, one of our Auto Show TV go-to experts and certainly our Honda expert. So are you surprised by this news that crossovers and SUVs are outperforming sedans? Um, not really. We've, kind of, we've seen the trend for the last few years where people really like the utility of the SUV. And since now most of them are all car-based, they're getting the safety, the reliability, and the fuel economy as a vehicle versus the original SUVs from 20 years ago, which were all truck-based. And is this trend also something that you see here at Majestic? Absolutely. Uh, we, uh, sales of CRVs have always been strong, but now they're actually surpassing the Civic and Accord some months. And again, the biggest contributing factor is the technology's gotten so good, but the fuel economy increase has been the key. Years ago, when you were getting 13, 14 miles a gallon with the SUV, it wasn't the most efficient vehicle to own. But now we're getting into the mid to high, even high 20s on the highway, which is amazing for a vehicle of this quality and technology. Yeah. Years ago, there was an SUV buyer and there was a, uh, a sedan buyer, and that's not the case anymore. Every day we see people come in, they want to test drive a sedan and an SUV uh, to compare, because the uh, added visibility, the being a little higher up, and the yeah. utility of having the extra cargo space not on top of the all-wheel drive system that's available makes them a real popular choice. And for the first half of 2014, the number one selling SUV slash crossover is this guy right here, the CRV. So why is this so popular? Why does everybody love it? Well, there's many reasons. Uh, since they redesigned the vehicle in 2012, they finally added a lot of the newer technology buyers are looking for. Um, they come standard, even in the lowest model, with the backup camera, with the USB connectivity for their, for their music, with Bluetooth technology for wireless talking of uh, using the cell phone. On top of that, uh, it's rated extremely high in safety, fuel economy, number one in resale value, uh, and it's just a great all-around vehicle. So let's take a closer look. Take us around and uh, you know, show us some more. Absolutely. Another feature that people tell us is important to them with the SUVs is the actual ease of getting in and out of the vehicle. Some people uh, have back problems, um, and sure. you'll notice is the seat height is very close to your hip height. So someone who might have a back problem, it's very easy to just spin and get in and out of the vehicle without getting too low to the ground like a traditional sedan. You'll notice almost all of the SUVs now no longer have the tire on the back. Right. You know, and one of the main contributing reasons for that is the amount of damage the car would sustain in a minor fender bender. When the tire was on the back, if you were just touched up against something, because you had a solid tire and rim, it would actually push the whole hatch in. So almost all the manufacturers decided that it was much better to have the spare inside the vehicle instead of on the outside. Yeah. Give us the demonstration here, Case. As you can see, there's a lot of room inside the vehicle. Um, this is with the seats, of course, folded up right now, so you have a traditional five-passenger vehicle. But just look at the height and the depth you yep. have to store lots of cargo. Yep. Um, all of them do come with, the, uh, well, the EX model and above come with the sunshade here, too, which is more or less a security shade. Uh, so when the, this is closed, you can't see the cargo underneath. So if you have an expensive set of golf clubs or something of value, the people on the outside cannot see it. Yeah. And I noticed that this, this part of the back is almost straight up and down. It just gives you that little bit of extra storage back here, right? Exactly. And that was the, one of the things they've changed is they, they used to be a little angled more. Right. Uh, the downside to that is, of course, you lose some cargo capacity. So by having the height higher up here before it tilts, you have that depth. Sure. It gives you a lot more space. Yep. And then you've got your 60-40 split. Absolutely correct. Here's a 40 and there's a 60. And they've changed it. So now all you have to do is pull the handle here the seat will fold down all by itself. And of course, the shade is removable, so if you need all that space with both down, you can see there's a lot of potential storage. Yep, and the spare tire's down here. Yep. It folds right up, and there the spare go. tire, not only, the other advantage to the spare tire being inside, it's clean. So if right. you do have to change a tire, you now don't have a dirty tire on the outside, or like a lot of SUVs that's stored underneath the vehicle. Well, after many years of salt and dirt, it tends to get either rusted or becomes, um, very dirty to work with. <laughs> and Casey, I think one of the other maybe misconceptions about the SUV category, particularly with the, the Honda CRV, is that, well, they must not be very fuel economical, but they are, aren't they? Yeah, they have, and they've really come a long way. And this model now, with the 14 CRVs, is actually rated at 30 miles per gallon on the highway, 
which when you consider it's all wheel drive and all the utility you get from the vehicle, it's really amazing. How do they do it? Well, the technology keeps getting better and better. Um, they've gotten more efficient engines, more efficient transmissions, and they've been able to raise the gas mileage from what used to be mediocre to excellent. This model is the EX with the cloth interior, but they have models with leather interior, models with navigation, and there's also a lot of other options you can add to the vehicle, like the roof rails with crossbars, so you can add even more cargo capacity to the top of the vehicle. Yep. And why should people come here to Majestic? I think I know the reason, but, <laughs> but I want you to tell the viewers. Well, besides me, of course, Majestic's <laughs> been here 40 years. Uh, we're the oldest Honda dealership, in, oldest and original Honda dealership in Rhode Island. We got two great locations for their convenience, West Warwick, uh, southern part of Rhode Island, and of course here in Lincoln in the northern part of the state. Um, great place to come buy a vehicle. We got great inventory between both stores and you'll have a great experience here. And August is a great time to buy. Absolutely, it's the uh, Honda Clarence event. Uh, it started uh, a couple weeks ago. It's gonna go all the way through the middle of September. We have a lot of 14s still being made and shipped to us, so availability is still excellent. Uh, so it's a great time of year to get the color you want and the price.